Hello, and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. This is DB2 Software Consultant Daryl Stewart here to introduce you to BMC SQL Performance for DB2, a complete SQL monitoring solution. SQL Performance for DB2 is a complete application performance and resource analysis product that is used to gather and display application performance information. The gathered data provides valuable information about performance and resource use of DB2 applications. The BMC SQL Performance for DB2 solution enables DBAs, application developers, and system programmers to identify and correct performance problems in DB2 applications that run in IBM, CICS, IMS, and ZOS environments. This solution is the answer to the ongoing quest for optimal application efficiency. SQL Performance provides a unique set of tools that allow an application to be fine-tuned through its conception and growth to its retirement. This quick course will provide information on the Explain interface. BMC established the Common Explain process to provide BMC product developers a common component for use when their product or solution provided Explain information in a DB2 environment. As a result, there are many BMC product processes that provide explain information by way of the common explain. Aptune, SQL Explorer, SQL Performance for DB2, MainView for DB2, and Catalog Manager for DB2 are some of the products and solutions that have access to the common explain process. In our example, we are using a view from the SQL Performance for DB2 solution to access the common explain process by placing an X at the asterisk and hitting enter. We now view the common explain interface and we notice that more information is located by paging to the right. We also notice that there are several lines of actions and information. So first let's take a look at the meaning of the actions codes listed. The action code S means show, and by placing the S on the dash next to the XD01 label, we will see the full text of the SQL statement and the objects, tables and indexes, that are involved in the execution of the SQL statement. We now see the full text of the SQL statement and the objects that are involved in the execution of the statement. We can further expose more information about the objects, such as the columns in the table or the index keys and statistics that are retrieved from the DB2 catalog. By placing an S at the prompt for the table, we will see this additional information. We now view the additional information provided concerning the table involved in the SQL statement. The H action code is used to hide the same information. The R, RS, RW, and RI are associated with displaying BMC rules related to the execution of the SQL statement. These rules are categorized as either informational, warning, or severe and are part of the BMC rule set associated with the common explain. By placing an R at the prompts, the user can display all the rules from all the different categories. After placing an R at the prompts, we see the BMC rules that are associated with the SQL statement in the explain interface. Each rule has a BMC rule number associated with it, and as we see in this example, there are informational rules, warning rules, and severe rules. By placing an H at the prompts, the user can hide the associated rules. Another powerful capability of the common explain is the ability to play what if with the SQL statement to determine if changes to the SQL statement would provide a less expensive access path by the DB2 optimizer. To invoke this capability, the user would place a W at the first prompt and hit enter. After placing the W at the first prompt, the common explain will place the SQL statement in an edit session where the user can change the statement 
And when finished, the user then hits the PF3 key and the change statement will be explained and the user will be able to view the old statement and the new statement side by side. We now can view the results of modifying the SQL statement, where we see the existing statement cost in the XD01 line and the changed statement cost in the WI01 line. And by examining the cost rate, in our example, we see a significant reduction in that value. We also notice that the existing statement's ACC, or access value, is an R, resulting in a table space scan, where the changed statement's ACC, or access value, is an I, resulting in an index access, and the MTCH field, or matching, indicates that the index access will match on one index column. By placing an S at the prompt for the WI01 line, we will be able to view the details of the change statement. We are now viewing the explained details of the changed SQL statement. When we are finished viewing the details, we place an H space all at the command line to hide the details. We now view the predicate information for the changed SQL statement by placing a P at the first prompt and hit Enter. We can see in the predicate report that the changed statement would result in a Stage 1 predicate, and by paging to the right, we can view additional information such as the filter factor. In summary, SQL Performance for DB2 provides access to the common explain from multiple points in the solution, and by using the capabilities of the common explain interface, we have the ability to view important data derived in the explain process. We also have the ability to exercise a what if capability to determine if modifying the SQL statement would result in reducing the cost of the statement. Thank you for your time. To learn more about the exclusive features of the SQL Performance for DB2 solution or about any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown here. Thank you.